Hello, it is February 11th, 2024, and it's a Super Bowl day. Now, the Steelers, <laughs> we're not in the Super Bowl this year, but I'm making a lot of Super Bowl-ish watching TV stuff. And a couple of my grandkids are coming over, but I was making these jalapeno uh, poppers, and sometimes I just cut them the top off and dig out like that. These are really big ones, aren't they? And they're nice and fresh too. And I shovel some stuff down in there and just like bake them. That's fine. I put a little oil on them too so that they're quicker to blister. When this is raw, of course, you know, it's pretty hot. It should be hot. Um, especially if you um, make them in your garden yourself, if you grow them in your garden yourself. But um, when they're pickled, like when you're at the stadium with nachos, Jeep or in a jar, we can pop them in our uh, mouth, no problem. But how I'm making these ones, I'm cutting I'm cutting them down here. This is what made me think, oh, put on the camera. See, like if I have it this way, it rolls. So what you wanna do is you wanna roll it to where it's natural, to where it naturally goes. The one was like flipping around, man. So I do this and wherever it's gonna be natural, that's how I cut it because that has to lay flat and the other has to. So I just literally, see I have gloves on. They're medical gloves, but whatever. And do I need to take this little stem off? No, I don't. But what I do is these ribs here, am I in the camera? Yeah. The ribs and the seeds, that's what's really the hottest part. So I try and get those out, you know, best I can like this. Okay, I, I like all the rib out because, again, that's the hot part. And now you have this nice little boat or cavity to stuff. What I'm going to stuff them with is I have a little bit of cream cheese. You're not going to need a lot for this many. And I have, I think it's pepper jack in there that I still have. And you can put a little garlic in if you want. It's not necessary. But mix something with the cream cheese so the cream cheese, while it's baking in the oven, doesn't all just come out, okay? That's my point about doing this. If you can uh, use gloves, do that. <laughs> and just cut that little, this is a really sharp knife. I just sharpened it, so I have to be careful. I don't want to go through the pepper itself. And I'll just do that, get all those little seeds out of there. But don't touch your eyes or any other place, really. If you've been cleaning these little buggers out, oh, I almost went into the pepper. It'll be okay though. So after this though, I have some bacon. I cut the piece, the strips in half, because you don't need a lot. And we're gonna wrap them around, okay? We'll just wrap it around after it's stuffed and lay them down. I'm gonna use an oiled sheet. I am gonna, I, sometimes I use the air fryer, but this time I'm just gonna use um, something like this. Okay, or if you have aluminum, use that in the oven or air fryer because then you don't have to clean it up. <laughs> but I'm going to spray that or put a little bit of oil on the bottom, again, to help blister this and cook it a little faster. Okay, so there's that. What, oh, and here's, can you see my wings back here? I'm going to cut this pineapple too. I, over, I cook these off on a low, low um, in water. Don't laugh until you try it. In other words, they're all the way cooked and I'm drying them. They're all the way cooked and dry. And this is at the point where I might sprinkle them a little bit with um, seasoning before I put them in the air fryer and spray them with avocado oil. But for the seasoning, I'm going to use some different seasoning, whatever you like, garlic powder, whatever. I even have a buffalo shaker type of uh, seasoning. But I put a little bit of cornstarch. Do not use baking soda. Do not use baking powder. Those are my tips. I've, you've been warned. <laughs> but cornstarch is different. But I am going to spray it to, mm -hmm. I'm going to do maybe a little half and half gig. Because I want them really crispy. And then for the sauce, everybody gets all like jazzy with the sauce. That anchor bar in Buffalo that started this. In all the restaurants I've ever heard of or worked in, honestly, they use margarine and hot sauce. That's it. You heard it here, folks. Margarine, you can use butter if you don't have margarine, and hot sauce. That's it. 
that's it. And then when they're nice and crispy and come out, that's when you flip them around in there, preferably in a bowl, get all fancy, and you serve them up. Serve them with your little celery sticks or even carrot sticks and a little ranch on the side. And ooh, baby. And I don't know who I'm rooting for in the Super Bowl. <sighs> Whoever best team wins, that's what I'll do. And usually I have a preference, but this time I don't. So, all right. And uh, um, my grandkids are coming over. These are going to be jalapeno um, cheddar. And these are going to be potato cheese. These are just the frozen ones. We're going to have these. Um, I bought really good buns. I'll, I'll char those up. Just and other things. Just a fun kind of dinner that we're going to have watching the Super Bowl. So whatever you're doing, even if you're watching an old movie by yourself, I truly hope you have a good evening. And um, God bless you. There's many, many blessings out there. Just uh, talk to him. And um, listen for answers. That's what a lot of people just talk, 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 talk to God. But they don't listen, listen, listen. So be still and know that he is God. All right. Thanks so much. I better take these um, gloves to work now and get stuffing. Talk to you later. Guys, I was getting my jack cheese out. And I realized I had some of this dip left. This dip, first of all, is really good. I'm going to use this with the cream cheese in there. It's Monterey Jack Cheese Onion and Garlic. Ooh, baby. My little stuffed peppers, they're going to be better than ever. I maybe came across a thing. That's what I mean. I just like look and get an idea and go from there. So, all right, here we go. I decided to do part without the bacon and a couple with. So I have one other little dish over here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, well, anyway, I have another little dish. So I'm just stuffing these. See, I have my gloves on, so I could still use my hands and get it in there like this. Okay. So some of them are going to have bacon. Some of them aren't. You know why? Because I don't have as much bacon as I thought I did and it's frozen so I have to kind of help it along but you know what it'll be all good but I'm going to get these started I might not even use the bacon I don't know did you ever do that it's called plan b ad lib whatever you want to call it but in any case I'm going to get these in I might top some of these I'm going to take the rest of this you know I'm going to put six in here and then the rest, maybe I'll do cheddar. And I think the kids might like the cheddar better than this um, artichoke, jalapeno-ish stuff. The kids are cute. They're just now uh, being interested a little bit more in sports, you know. So I think just the two little boys are going to come over today. They're about 10 and 11. And they wanted to have a good time with Pap. So yeah, I'm gonna put a bunch of cheddar in here and make it mostly cheddar for these four and then I'll put them in another dish. Okay, oh, gotta ad lib. Before I get too busy, 
I had the hot sauce and the margarine. I want to show you my uh, jalapeno poppers. Okay. I'm getting them out. They look gorgeous. Look. Don't they look gorgeous? And I'm telling you, this is much milder now. I don't need another thing on them. We didn't even use the bacon. Ouch, this is hot. <laughs> I have it in the oven staying warm. And I have a lot of other things happening on the stove over there. 